So I'm glad that we went by and let him look. Bless his heart, y'all. It's been one thing after another. Car seat. Somebody got a new car seat, huh? Yeah. Hey, hey, y'all, and welcome back to the vlog. Welcome to today's video. We're loaded up in the car. We're heading to town. I'm actually picking up this video where I left off in yesterday. So if you've not seen that one, make sure you go watch that video and then come back to this one. It was a fun fall day in that video. Um, I, sh I showed everything that we did yesterday and then I picked it back up this morning and showed us getting our crock pot meal ready. We've done school for the day. Then I closed that vlog out and now I'm starting this one as we head to town. So if you've not seen that one, go watch it and then come back to this one. But we're headed to town. We're actually going to go by Walmart and TJ Maxx. Maybe we'll see. We'll probably go to Walmart first and see what we see there. And then if we need to go somewhere else, we will. But I want to get the kids a couple of fall outfits, at least some pants for the boys. They really need that. Audrey can still fit in a lot of her things from last year, but the boys, they can't. <laughs> they, they need a few things, and so we're going to go see what we see. Like I said, probably start at Walmart, and then if we need to go somewhere else, we will. But that's the plan for today, and we're going to bring you along. Yes, I need to get a six piece nugget happy meal. Here you go, boys. Well, one, maybe I don't know which ones which I'll have to look. When you are We've made it to Walmart and we're gonna go in and see what we can find. I like getting the kids clothes at Walmart because well one, they have cute things and two, it's affordable. Especially when you're buying for multiple children. And if it gets messed up, because kids are rough on clothes, y'all. My kids know to take care of their things, but they're rough on clothes. Uh, and I don't feel quite so bad if I've not spent a ton of money on them, you know. But anyway, I like Walmart clothes, so I like them for myself. They have cute things. So we're going to go in here and see what we can find. I think I mentioned this already. Audrey really doesn't need as much as the boys. She still has shirts that fit from last year, and she got several pair of blue jeans right before school started that are working good for her. So I still like to find her something though. And if we don't have any luck in here, we'll go somewhere else, but I'm hoping we will. We stopped by McDonald's on the way here too because it was lunchtime. And the kids have been wanting the um, little boo buckets. So we stopped and got lunch on the way here and they were excited about those little Halloween buckets. Flippy. Flippy. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Just don't pinch his belly. Yeah, that's what we could get away from. There you go. Audrey mentioned liking these the last time that we were in here. She said something about maybe getting one that was a few sizes bigger so it would fit oversized. Maybe we'll get her one of these. I don't know. I'm going to hold on to it and see what else we see. Oh, I don't know. They've got these right here that are cute too. And they're about half the price, so uh, literally, yeah, yeah, literally, they are half the price. They got some pretty fall colors. Maybe we'll get her one of these now and save the other for Christmas. Like maybe, yeah, I like the yellow too. Plenty of little sweatpants. Don't know if he needs. Do they have? Let's look. Either he'll need. Easton asked what size. He'll need either 18 months or 2T. It'll just depend on what it looks like. 24 months might be better than the... 24 months? Yeah, if you can see it, but I'm not I'm not seeing many. Anybody else's kids hate wearing jeans? I'm like, let's get another pair of jeans. I'm like, I got enough jeans. I don't like jeans. Y'all, I can get them to wear them to church. 
and that's about it. If you get one, can you wear it tonight? Yeah, I guess. Having a snack, what? I don't think we need to go anywhere else. I'm happy with what we got in there. I wanted to spend around $150. That was my budget. We spent $164, so right at it, and I am happy with that. All the kiddos got something. I feel like I got a hair on my face. Uh, while we're in town, we're going to take Cuddy by the doctor and let them look in his ears. He's been complaining off and on today about his ears hurting. And after us being sick the last few weeks and just having a little bit of everything, it seems like, um, sinus issues, I want him to look in his ears just to make sure it doesn't look like he's got, you know, an ear infection or something going on with his tubes or something. So, get him by the doctor while we're in town. And then once we get home, I'll show you what we got. Well, we're back home if you can't tell. And update from the doctor. Oh, honey bud. Oh, y'all, he had an ear infection, has an ear infection. So I'm glad that we went by and let him look. Bless his heart, y'all. It's been one thing after another. He tested positive for the flu. I guess it's been like two weeks ago. Then he got better from that. Then he had some kind of stomach thing going on. I'm pretty sure it was food poisoning or something of the sorts. He got some cheese at a basketball game that he said tasted off, and I think it caused some belly issues. And then, now, an ear infection. But we got him some medicine, and hopefully that'll be all cleared up real soon. Let me show you the clothes we got at Walmart. Here's everybody's clothes. So, both boys got a sweatsuit. You can't really tell. Here on camera, it kind of looks more gray, but this is a light blue. These are Easton's. These are like a light blue color. And then he picked a navy sweatshirt to go with them. Then these pants are really light. Really light material. And he got the black pants. And then this shirt right here says rise to the top he liked that so he got that then both boys <laughs> both the older boys asked if they could get hooded pajamas they love these things and they've outgrown all the ones that they had so easton got this minecraft one now for huddy's clothes he picked out an all gray sweatsuit these are the same kind of pants as what Easton got, except for he wanted the brown. And then this is the shirt that he picked out. It's a football, is it football? I can't even remember. Yeah, Huddy's the one who originally saw these shirts and said, I want one of those. And then both boys picked one out. And his pajamas are Baby Yoda. Then for Wyatt's clothes, for Wyatt's clothes, I wasn't... Y'all, I wasn't really sure what to do on size. He can wear some 18 months and 24 months and 2T. And I really wanted to just get 2T as long as the waist looked like it would fit him because he's so tall. Um, and I found 2T in this right here. And these little sweatpants, the waist looks like it will fit him just fine. They got this little shirt to go with him. He's over there playing with the garden buckets. Banging around. This is the shirt that kind of got to go with these pants thought it was cute it says hiding in plain sight and it's got all the bugs like the stick the stick bug and the leaf bug those kinds of things this one however i did find him a 2t in this shirt it says be wild and has a cute dinosaur on it we love the dinosaur things but they did not have these gray pants in a 2t or 24 months and i really wanted these pants so i got him in the 18 months which will be fine because he's wearing some 18 months pants and they're working fine for him so i know those will be all right are you done banging around with the buckets and like i mentioned audrey didn't really need a whole lot she got a few extra pair of pants before school started some extra blue jeans and things so she still had plenty and she still had a lot of shirts from last year, but I wanted to get her something. So we got her this kind of mustard colored oversized 
sweatshirt and also this relaxed fit hunter green thermal shirt i think she'll really like those i think i already mentioned it but i spent 164 dollars on all of those clothes i actually no i probably spent like 155 on clothes because i also got some more baby wipes and some toothpaste for me and justin and toothpaste for the kids so you know what i was probably right there at what i was was thinking i wanted to spend right around 150 dollars and i think that's what i did and i feel like i got a good bit for that money that's why i like getting clothes at walmart i'm gonna go ahead and get hudson his first dose of that medicine in him and get him some tylenol too he's not really complained much with it hurting he mentioned it hurting what he mentioned it hurting when he woke up this morning it was bothering him but then he seemed fine then as we were in town, he mentioned it hurting again. So that's when I was like, yeah, okay, something's going on. Um, so it's not bothering him too much yet. So let's, maybe we can get this medicine in him and, and get it cleared up and it won't give him too much trouble. They said it was a pretty bad ear infection, but he's not complained with it a lot yet. So hopefully we can get it cleared up pretty easily. I'll take a peek at supper. Oh, it's smelling so good. I could smell it as soon as we came in the house. That's going to be delicious. To go with our roast tonight, I'm going to make some fried green tomatoes. And y'all, if you've never had fried green tomatoes, you're missing out. You need to try it. Easton doesn't like a fresh tomato, like a red garden tomato. But he likes fried green tomatoes. So even if you think you don't like tomato, you need to try them. I've just sliced up my green tomato. And then this is an egg wash. It's just a couple eggs with a little bit of milk. And then I have some flour with salt and pepper. And you can season it however you want. But we like this Cajun two-step. So I put some of that in there as well. Sometimes I'll put like garlic powder and onion powder in there. This is just what we're doing today. I'm going to dip my tomato in my flour. Then in my egg wash. Back in my flour. And then we're going to go over to the stove. And I've got a little bit of oil heating up in this pan. And I'm just going to shallow fry the tomatoes just until that batter on the outside is cooked through. And that's it. They're done. And they're delicious. When I pull them out of the oil, I usually put them on a paper towel lined plate. Put a little extra salt on the top. So good, y'all. It is late and everybody has just finished up basketball practice we're still waiting on Justin to get back with the two oldest but they're on their way home and uh, Huddy's done got his shower and put his new jammies on and we're getting ready for bed everybody's tired it's been a big day it's been a fun day let me close this video out we love you we appreciate you and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.